Hey guys, got a great video lined up for you today. Thought I'd do something a little different. Um, people have been asking me a lot of questions about doing radio imaging. Um, so I thought maybe I'd do a voiceover session for you guys to check out to see what it's all like um, with what I do and how I do it. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna do three different types of production work. We'll do a radio imaging job, and we'll also do a, a DJ drop for a buddy of mine, uh, DJ Billy the Kid. And uh, we'll also do a commercial, a quick commercial uh, for a spot on vinyl for one of the shows that we have running every Saturday. So uh, we'll do that for you guys too as well. Uh, also, um, in this video, if you want to follow along and if you uh, want to, or if you're interested in doing your own radio production for your own internet radio station, it's very simple. Um, you can use the current equipment that you've already got now, which is uh, the basic equipment is just a, a USB mixer, a microphone, good quality working microphone, and you'll also need a PC with uh, any kind of recording software, Audacity, uh, GarageBand, Cool Edit, Adobe Edition, anything that uh, you are comfortable with using uh, is gonna work best for you. You'll also need some uh, radio imaging sound effects and um, they're very, very easy to find on the internet. Just Google uh, radio imaging sound effects um, and uh, they, they could be you know pretty cheap or they could be expensive but it all get, it all depends on what you get right because you can get some packages that have uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, effects in it or you can get a package that has just a few effects and um, whichever works best for you you can also find some free uh, sound effects and royal uh, royal royal free sound effects I'm sorry uh, on the internet too as well just Google search um, radio imaging sound effects and you'll find that or if you just want to do dry drops with a little bit of uh, effects from the programs that you guys are using you can do that too as well and we'll show you how to do that uh, once we get to the computer screen just on a coffee break grab grab myself a coffee and then we'll get back into the studio and we'll, we'll do this so like I said in this video you're gonna need uh, a USB mixer or a USB interface that's gonna plug into your computer that you can plug a microphone into a good quality microphone uh, we're using in our studios we have an apex four uh, three uh, five um, Apex condenser microphone we have one of those and we also have a uh, bear not a Behringer a um, uh, Electro Voice RE320 microphone and that's what we'll be using for the production. So we'll do a, um, um, a sweeper which is what we're going to use on vinyl and then we'll do a DJ drop uh, for a friend of mine and then we'll also do a commercial for a spot on uh, our new uh, website uh, vinyl105.ca. So you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, anyways with having said that, so make sure you have yourself a, a microphone, a mixer, and uh, uh, any kind of good uh, audio recording software is what you're going to need. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Please share the videos too as well. The more the better. It's going to help us uh, get more content out there for you. And our goal is to try and make a lot more videos and uh, try and help you through the process um, I do have a few videos in the works uh, we're going to be doing a re uh, video of hooking and um, like hooking all the equipment up so I'm going to tear down my studio very soon and uh, we're going to reset everything up and we're going to go step by step just going to do an updated version because um, the version that I have on my channel right now is getting out of date and there's a lot of new stuff that we're in, integrating in our radio stations that I think is probably um, really useful for you to 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 know so we'll definitely get in in touch with that stuff um, in in the next few videos and we'll also do a video uh, there's been a lot of questions about licensing as well and royalties um, uh, so we'll, we'll try and touch base about that too as well in our next upcoming videos and um, yeah, so if you have any questions or any um, thing that I uh, that you want to see me um, do a video on, then please um, put it
put a comment down below on the video or send me an email at djdrj at power92fm.ca. I'd love to try and help as much as I can, but I am only one person. I am only one person, and I think the best way of doing this is going to be through our videos here on YouTube. So please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Follow the radio stations on Facebook and Twitter and uh, check out our websites. All the links will be down at the bottom of this video too as well, so please check them all out. Having said that, why don't we make our way back to the studio and uh, let's make some radio production. So when we're back, guys, we'll be working on some stuff in the studio. So hang tight. Hey, guys, we're back in the studio now, and uh, I've already recorded uh, three uh, production or three audio clips into the computer already because this way it's easier if I screw up then I could easily cut that out. So we've got uh, three audio clips that we're going to be working on uh, and we'll do it in uh, three different sections. So one is going to be a, uh, uh, a sweeper and then the next one will be a DJ drop and then we'll uh, work on putting together a uh, commercial for um, uh, one of our radio stations. So uh, let's have a listen uh, real quick to these uh, clips in uh, RAW and then I'll show you... Um, how I, with all the sound effects, you'll be able to see all the sound effects that I use in each of these cl clips when I produce them. So uh, here's clip number one. We'll uh, play that one for you. On air with Dr. J, CKDV, Vinyl, 105.ca, a division of Power Media. And then uh, this is clip number two. In the mix with DJ Billy the Kid, representing the Blend Squad DJs. And then this is clip number three tune in every friday from three to five p.m eastern standard time and join the musical journeys of rebecca raylis playing the best in alternative hard rock funk and blues plus giving you her reviews on topics and funny stories of herself email her for requests at rebecca raylis at vinyl 105.ca saturdays three to five p.m eastern standard time at www.vinyl105.ca Okay, so those are the clips that we're going to use in this uh, video, in this voiceover session. So I've just recorded myself into here so that we take away some of the wasted time for that. But uh, okay, so um, if you are not familiar on how to record into uh, the Cool Edit program, or um, I can't really tell you on how to do it on any other program, but what we're using right now. So in Cool Edit, uh, the easiest way for me to record this is I'll go into this one session view here. Uh, not this session view, this is the multi-track view. It'll be just the uh, single track view is what uh, you're looking for. And then I, all I do is hit record and then I'll do several takes of each um, liner that I'm saying and then that way I'll take out the best and cut out the best and use the best one. So that's how I do that. Just hit the record and then uh, the record button again to stop recording. So hang tight and then we'll get started into uh, uh, editing the uh, first clip. So hang tight. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's get started with the first clip of our voiceover session. And uh, what I do with every clip uh, when I make a voiceover, um, every clip I always get rid of the end silence and always get rid of all the silence in the... Uh, in the clip so that it just gets rid of all the extra noise uh, so we'll just cut that out of there and it makes it tighter too as well I find so all I'm doing is highlighting and then uh, right clicking and then cutting out that stuff there so I'm just gonna continue on doing that right down to the end And then uh, I always add uh, four seconds of silence at the end of each of uh, clips just to allow for um, some uh, echoing at the end. And that just gives it a better fade off when, uh, when, uh, uh, when it's mixing out from a track. So to do that, uh, hit generate at the top there and then silence. And then you can, you can put in any much time you want, but four seconds will be long enough and then towards the end here I'll echo that end part so let's listen to the end part here power media so I'm gonna get uh, 
I think power media, power media will will echo that. So uh, to do that is where it is there, and then we're going to highlight it. So basically, hold down the uh, mouse button and then drag, and then that's going to take that to there. So then we go into the effects, and I'm going to use echo. Now I just use the preset that's already in Cool Edit, and that's the Canon one, and then I hit uh, OK. That's going to add an echo towards the end, and it's just going to kind of fade out nicely, so it'll it'll sound like this. Power media. Power media. Power media. So once we do that, uh, I'm going to now uh, go to dynamic processes processing. Now these are all going to be um, presets that are already going to be set in, so you won't have to worry about um, setting anything up. Just use the pro presets that are in uh, all the effects in Cool Edit if that's what you're using. Uh, and you can, you know, whatever effect you want to use, you can. It doesn't uh, have to be the exact same way as how I do it. But these are the effects I use on every single um, uh, jingle or commercial or anything that, like that. So uh, I use the D esser so that gets rid of all the s in each uh, sentence. And uh, I use the light one. I don't use any. I just want to subtle. Get to get rid of it so I'm gonna hit OK and you're gonna see these waveforms are gonna be changing a bit so uh, and then the next one I use is um, an FF filter which is uh, gentle and wide in mastering I use that all the time in every single recording so I hit OK excuse me and then uh, graphic equalizer and then I use bright in punchy or sometimes I use uh, the preset called spit and clear but in this one we'll do uh, bright and punchy and then I always use this quick filter and uh, this is a setting that I put in myself and it's called fat and basically all it is is uh, I've, I've added some more bass and uh, low end and a little bit of high end just to brighten it up and give it that radio uh, broadcast sound so uh, to pr you if you want you can pause the screen and you can copy these and make it your own so so far this is what our clip sounds with with all the effects that we've added so far so let's have a listen on air with dr. J CKDV vinyl 105.ca a division of power media power media so that's all the stuff that we have on there so far and this is what I like to do to uh, some clips and I'm going to show you on this one this is one effect that I like to do so the whole thing is highlighted and then what I do is I hit the bottom uh, the uh, down arrow key on the keyboard and that's gonna light up just this section here and what I do is I right click and hit copy and then I do a right click again and then I cut and then what I do is I, with the arrow button uh, towards pointing this way um, to the right, I, I'm going to hit it like three times. So one, two, three. That's adding, that's moving our, our cursor here. And then what I'm going to do is right click again and then hit the paste button. And that's going to bring our audio clip back in there. So basically what this is doing is it's giving it a stereo sound. So it's going to have a um, more of a, a brighter sound. So this is what it sounds like now with the effect. On air with Dr. J, CKDV, Vinyl, 105.ca, a division of Power Media. Power Media. So that's how that sounds and uh, I, I like how that sounds. And then I wouldn't really go very far more with any more... Um, effects on this now you can add a reverb if you'd like uh, it just depends on how you want your station to sound or how you want your um, piece to sound but this is how I normally do that for all of this after all those effects have been done then I always do the uh, hard limiting and I hit that that brings up the sound wave really loud and then what I do is I do a normalize at 90% uh, and now this clip is ready to be put in the uh, multi-track view and um, start adding some effects to that. So like I said in the previous video that you need to download your own uh, radio imaging effects and to do that just go to Google and uh, search radio imaging effects 
and uh, download your own pack. Uh, like I said, the more expensive the pack is, the lot more uh, imaging you're going to get, and it'll give you more creativity. So uh, to get to the multi-track uh, view, is you click this little button up here to switch, and that's the multi-track view. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, this clip that we've been working on, and we're going to move it into the... So uh, uh, click on it, and then drag into the... Uh, any track that you want to start working on. In this case, we'll start with uh, track one. So this is where I would go and I would pick some uh, sound effects out of my library to put with this clip. So this clip is roughly about six minutes or six seconds long. So I'm going to look for something that's pretty close to uh, six minutes in uh, duration for the uh, effect. So let's look real quick here and see if we can find one. It's going to work good with this. So I, I like to put like combo things over top. So this one here is 124K. So let's see how long. So that might be too short. So try this one. Be too long. Um, how about we do maybe this one? No. How about scroll down a bit here and see if we can find one real quick. How about this one? Why don't we try that one out? So let's move. So I'm going to open up Cool Edit again and then go to my effects. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this clip and then drop it into a session here. And that'll bring that effect in there. So then I just, uh, all I do with this clip now is I'm just going to lower the volume because it's going to be, I don't want it to overpower the uh, voiceover. So let's bring it back. Let's bring it down to about 10, minus 10. And then let's have a listen and see what it sounds like. On Air with Dr. J, CKDV, Vinyl 105.ca, a division of Power Media. Power Media. Power Media. So that's how that is done. And then what I do uh, to save it is I go to File, and then I go Save Mix Down, and then I'm going to tell it where to put it. So let's go to Music, and let's put it in our Jingles folder here, right there. And I'm going to call this uh, On Air with Dr. J. So let's go On Air. Yeah, On Air with... Dr. J. And I'm just going to call this Power Media. Oops. There we go. And then I hit save. Oh, and then you also have the option here to change the uh, uh, kilobytes for the uh, track too as well. So I always do it at 320, so it's the best quality at MP3. And then we just hit the save button and let the machine do its thing. And then obviously in our jingles folder, uh, our, our uh, jingle will be somewhere in here right there at the bottom. So on air with DJ Dr. J. And at the end of the video, we'll play all the clips so that you can hear uh, the final production. So um, let's uh, work on the uh, second clip. So uh, keep it locked and we'll uh, work on the uh, DJ drop and we'll do a little bit of uh, different effects on that one so you can see how that's done. Okay, moving on to our next one. So we're going to get our clip number two ready. So I'd like the uh, first ones, I'm going to get rid of uh, all the silence and dead air and stuff that we don't want in the clip. So at the beginning of this clip, I kind of cut it out I guess uh, too early so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that end silence there so all you do is hit um, the click button on your mouse the the left click and then hold it and drag it to uh, highlight the section that you want to get rid of and then just click on the little scissors button up there and that's going to get rid of that and uh, doing to do the same thing here different way of doing that is uh, holding down the left click button and then uh, highlighting and then releasing and then right clicking and you can do cut to as well that way we'll get rid of this section here 
right click cut and we'll get rid of the ending silence here and then we'll generate four seconds of silence at the end so that we can just add the echo like the last one as well the, these are steps that I do on every one uh, of the uh, section er, every every one of the uh, uh, audio tracks that I produce I always do this uh, just because it's an easier transition on mixing out so let's see what it says at the end here DJs so let's um yeah we'll do that will echo the uh, DJs so uh, holding down the uh, left mouse button and then dragging all the way towards the end and then clicking effects and then we're looking for echo and I always use this preset I've never uh, made my own uh, it's the Canon set uh, it's uh, probably the best one it uh, I think it sounds the best out of all of them so I uh, just uh, highlight that and then hit the OK button and if of course if you want to try out any other of these sound effects you can or these presets all you have to do is just uh, highlight it and then you can hit the preview button and that'll uh, give you a preview before you actually save it that way so uh, I know what it sounds like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit uh, OK and then this is what our echo will sound like at the end DJs, DJs. DJs. so this is the clip uh, we're working on it's a DJ drop for a buddy of mine and uh, so let's listen to what we have so far in the mix with DJ Billy the Kid representing the Blend Squad DJs. DJs, DJs, DJs. So uh, what we're gonna do is I think at the beginning of this clip is I I think I might want to do a like a a little bit of a stutter. So when it says in the mix, I want it to kind of go in the mix, kind of like that. So uh, the way I do that is uh, I hold down the uh, left click button. On the section of where I want to do this and uh, so I hold it down and then I drag um, over top of the uh, clip that I want to work on so I think it's going to be this part here so let's just have a quick listen uh, and if you want to you know listen uh, it, it, while you're holding down you can hit the space button on your keyboard <clears throat> and it should play uh, the clip so let's listen here it, 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 it. So that kind of is what we're going to look for there. So I've highlighted that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click. Uh, I'm going to do Copy, and then I'm going to click uh, the left click right here, and that's going to bring it to the beginning again. And then I'm going to go right-click, Paste, and I'm going to do this four times. Paste. Paste. We'll do one more paste so that should have a little bit of a stutter in the beginning it did it in the mix with DJ Billy the kid it did it in the mix with DJ Billy the kid so that's kind of what we're looking at right there uh, so the next thing I kind of want to do is go uh, it did it in the mix with DJ Billy the kid okay so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add the normal uh, effects that I normally use every time um, I do a voiceover session so we're gonna go dynamic processes again and do the light de hisser and de esser and get rid of the S's and then uh, we're gonna go down to the FF filter and do the gentle and wide click OK hit the uh, graphic equalizer bright and punchy now this is all gonna depend on what you want to use uh, in your production but these are the settings that I use uh, and there's no wrong way of doing this and then of course the fat that I like gives it that radio oomph and this is what we're looking at so far it did it in the mix with DJ Billy the kid representing the blend squad DJs, DJs. so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add another effect in here and this is gonna be like a telephone effect and I find that this is a very good useful effect to kind of draw the listener into uh, listening very carefully you know so um uh, what I I think what I'm gonna do is it did it in the mix with DJ Billy the Kid. I think the DJ name is what I'm gonna use the telephone effect on. So I believe that that is right uh, here in this section here with DJ. B no, it's gonna start right there. DJ Billy. DJ Billy the Kid. So DJ Billy the Kid is that section there, just to make sure. DJ Billy the Kid. And uh, this is the section. It's the uh, 
scientific filters, I guess it's called. So I double click on that. And um, this is a setting that I've set myself. I've uh, cut off. I've done uh, 350. And that's it. That's all I've done. You can also use, um, uh, I think it's this one here, the top one. But this is the set. You could just put this in the high pass in uh, 350 and you'll get the same results. So I'm just going to go OK. And you see that that's kind of brought that down. But don't worry about that because when you do your normalizing and your limiting, it's going to bring all this right up again. So this is what the clip sounds like, what we've done to it. DJ Billy the Kid. Now, what I'm going to do too as well is I'm going to add that other effect that I did in the uh, first uh, production was um, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the whole thing is highlighted. So just double click on the beginning of the uh, section here and then hit your down arrow key on your keypad and that's going to highlight just this section. Right click, copy, and then we're going to cut this clip out and then I'm going to use the uh, arrow pointing... Uh, uh, to the right and uh, we're gonna do this let's do this only two times this time and see what kind of effect of a stereo effect we'll get so one two and then right click and paste and there's the clip in there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the up arrow again so that we're gonna highlight the whole entire thing and then go back to the beginning and see what we sound it, like. it, it, in the mix with DJ Billy the kid representing the blend squad DJs so that sounds pretty good, actually, and I, I kind of like the way that's sounding. So I'm not going to do anything else to that uh, clip. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add uh, the limiting again. So hard limiting, double click on that guy. And then I just hit OK. This is the uh, default presettings that the, the uh, cool editors already had in. I, I, I don't change any of this. Um, everything seems to be set up pretty well for... Uh, cool edit settings so I just use the settings that it's got so I go to OK and then we're gonna normalize it again to make sure it's all at one uh, normalization and I do 90% on all tracks so I don't want to over peak it so we go OK and now that that is ready for multi-track view let's bring it in there and bring in some a uh, little bit of a light uh, effect in there because uh, when the DJ is using this in between DJing his set you don't want to have any kind of beats in here it's going to override his uh, mix so let's find something pretty quick to put in there a uh, little sound effect so it's about about uh, eight minutes long the clip so let's find something that we can use let's try this guy kind of like that so let's let's add that right underneath in the multi-track view there and then we'll have a listen and see what that sounds like it, 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 representing the blend squad DJs I'm gonna just lower this a little bit here Let's try it again. It, 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 DJ Billy the Kid. Representing the Blend Squad DJs. DJs, DJs, DJs. And then I hit, uh, I like that, so I'm just going to save that. Go to File, and then hit Save Mix Down As. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, we're in the folder that we already want to be in, because that's the uh, last one that we're in. So let's, um, let's call this uh, uh, DJ Billy the Kid. Okay. Uh, now you can name anything you want the way you want it, right? And then hit save. And that's going to save that into an MP3. So hang tight, and then uh, we'll work on the uh, commercial next. Um, I hope uh, you guys are uh, learning something, or you're just finding this a little bit interesting. Okay, guys, now let's get into doing the commercial now. We're going to double click on that, and uh, that's going to bring us into the uh, one session view here. And uh, uh, let's have a listen to the commercial real quick. Tune in every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the musical journeys of Rebecca Raylis, playing the best in alternative, hard rock, funk, and blues, plus giving you her reviews on topics and funny stories of herself. 
Email her for requests at Rebecca Raylis at vinyl105.ca. Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at www.vinyl105.ca. Okay, so I already noticed that there's a mistake in that. I said uh, Fridays at the beginning and Saturdays at the end, but uh, we're not going to use this on the radio station. We're, we're just going to use this as a, an example. So <clears throat> don't worry about uh, um, it not saying the right things here. This is just to get the gist of it. So like uh, every other one that we've done, let's get rid of all the, the silences and the things like that and the pops and the uh, uhs and stuff like that. So let's uh, highlight that, right-click that, and cut. And I'm going to do that to this one here. I try not to do the whole thing because, um, like, I mean, like, all the way to the end because there might be just that section there that you might need to make it sound right. So I usually just kind of do it like that. Right-click, cut. I'm not going to cut this one here. I am going to do this one. Uh, and if you didn't want to cut this out, and if you wanted to still leave that space in there, but you still want to get rid of uh, the noise that's in between, you could just click on the silence uh, when you uh, highlight it, and it, it'll get rid of that as well. But we want to make it nice and tight, so let's cut it out of there. Cut this out of there too as well. And that as well here. Cut. And that as well here. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. Cut. And yeah, cut. And cut. Now this because this is gonna be like a commercial like spot, we're not gonna worry about doing any um echoing at the end here. And this is going to be a different kind of production because this is going to be more of a straight forward. You don't want to add too many effects to it. So <clears throat> now that we've cut all that out, let's listen to it real quick and make sure that it doesn't sound like garbage. Tune in every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the musical journeys of Rebecca Raylis playing the best in alternative hard rock funk and blues plus giving you her reviews on topics and funny stories of herself email her for requests at rebecca Raylis at vinyl 105.ca saturdays 3 to 5 p.m eastern standard time at www.vinyl 105.ca okay so uh that sounds pretty good now let's uh add the effects real quick so let's do the uh, dehisser we'll get rid of that the light dehisser these are the same effects that i use on every single production that i do ff filter uh, gentle and wide and graphic equalizer bright and punchy and then we're gonna get that fat radio broadcast sound in uh, quick filters under fat and uh, that's pretty much now I think with this one I might add just a little tiny reverb just to kind of add to it so let's double click on the reverb let it open and um, I find that the jingle one works very nice, so let's just preview it real quick. Tune in every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the musical journeys. So I kind of like that. kind of adds a little bit of a um, some space into it, I guess, if you want to call it that, or uh, just kind of fills it up a little bit. Uh, and this being a commercial, it's uh, I kind of like that effect. And all the presets that I'm using, I'm using all the presets that come with uh, Cool Edit Pro. Um, I don't really make my own, except for that one under uh, the quick filters there that I showed you at the beginning. So let's hit OK. And then uh, what we want to do now is uh, go up and do our limiting. OK. And then, uh, as you can see, that brought that right up real loud. And let's normalize that right down to 90%. There. And now let's go back to our um, multi-track view. And let's drag this clip into the multi-track. So now we need to find some music to go behind this uh, clip. Um, and I already went and looked. 
and I, I like this one the best here that says Beat 5. So this is where all the sound effects and stuff that you download in loops that you download will come in handy uh, in your production. So I'm just going to get rid of that silence there at the beginning. And I'm going to get rid of that silence at the end there. And I guess it really doesn't matter because so back to that. So here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up uh, and I'm going to loop it. So it's going to be a cut, I think, right here. Yeah, right about there. And then I'm just going to hit cut. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the end. So we're going to use that at the end of the production. So let's duplicate this. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can right click on it and hit uh, duplicate or you can um, hit uh, right click and then hit loop properties and hit the uh, enable looping and then hit OK. And then uh, basically this will allow you to uh, loop it but it's not going to let me loop it the way I want to loop it because of uh, because I had to cut it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way cut that out remove block and I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go loop and let's do it like five times Go okay so five times probably was too much so let's check this out and see yeah okay what's going on here yeah all right uh Let's move that there. Let's remove that out of there and uh, we'll move this into here like that. And maybe I'll just take uh, this section here, cut it, and I'm just going to duplicate this maybe once. And then I'll move this guy into here. So let's uh, let's kind of see what this sounds like real quick. Tune in every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the musical journeys of Rebecca Rayless, playing the best in alternative, hard rock, funk, and blues, plus giving you her reviews on topics and funny stories of herself. Email her for requests at Rebecca Rayless at vinyl105.ca. Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at www.vinyl105.ca. So that's how that sounds. So what I, I, I like the way that sounds. Uh, if you want to add more sound effects and stuff, you can. Uh, just adding them to the uh, multi-track, e each track here, you can add your own uh, stuff in there. Now, if you were, uh, if you wanted to add some more vocals into this and uh, you want to add some more uh, talking, you can. All you'd have to do is pretty much, uh, what I would do is I would mute these channels here and then I would write, I would uh, click on uh, the record button on the track that I want to record in. And then basically all you have to do is hit the record button and it'll pick up what you're recording. So what we're doing right now is we're recording into the program. So I just thought I'd show you that real quick. Hit stop recording to end that. And of course, then you can r double click on it and you can, uh, you know, edit it and, and do what you need to do with that. But we don't really don't need that in there. So I'm just going to get rid of that and hit that. Unclick that. And then we're going to actually save this and save it as a mix down and we'll use it as what we did. So file and save mix down. And we'll call this uh, the Rebecca Rayless commercial. there and hit save so uh, hang tight towards the end of this video and uh, at the end of this video we will uh, play all the the clips so that you can hear the end result production uh, result and uh, yeah so hope uh, a lot of this was helpful on air with dr j's kdv vinyl 105.ca a division of power media
Ghost. DJ Billy the Kid. Representing the Blend Squad DJs. Tune in every Friday from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the musical journeys of Rebecca Rayless, playing the best in alternative, hard rock, funk, and blues, plus giving you her reviews on topics and funny stories of herself. Email her for requests at Rebecca Rayless at Vinyl105.ca. Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at www.Vinyl105.ca. Hey guys, so uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, I hope you liked what the uh, production sound like and I also hope that uh, uh, this helped you out and you learned something from it. Um, I want to just uh, uh, say one more time uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, share the video too as well uh, with that we'll uh, do some more videos to help you out and, and uh, with more shares and with more subscribers uh, the better uh, it will be for us. Also don't forget to follow the radio station on Twitter and Facebook um, and also don't forget to follow myself on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, all the links will be at the bottom here. And like I said, if you got any videos that you want me to do or if you have any ideas or something that I didn't touch base with, uh, just send me a quick email at uh, djdrj at power92fm.ca and I'll try and get a video up for you on that. Uh, but uh, I, hope, uh, I hope all this was a help for you and uh, we look forward to doing another one for you. So until then, keep it locked and uh, make sure you check out the radio stations, and check out the new swag. So here, cheers, and uh, we'll see you soon.